In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a text animation slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created four options and I've given the different colors to each option and I have provided the option number here. And upon my click, this particular slide uh, will move towards the left and it will reveal the text. And when I click next, it will move towards the right and reveals the text. So it is very useful uh, for the teachers, for the students or for the college staff to use this particular slide to reveal the options one by one. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here it moves towards the left and add your detailed text. Uh, text has been revealed. Again, when I click second text, third text and fourth text. So let's see how to do this creative slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, right mouse click, go to format background and I'm going to give some gray color as the background. Then go to insert shapes and select a rectangle. Draw a rectangle of your choice depending on your requirement. Maybe I'm going to go with this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I'm going to select white color here and then you can align center align middle and then i'm going to add one more rectangle go to shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle from this end to this end again the width and the height depending on your requirement and how many options you need for example i'm just going to make it this much height and width and this one shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give a gradient fill let me just add few stops here you can see here i can select this and give some different color here you can see here the type instead of radial i'm going to select linear and this side also i'm just going to give a darker color and in the middle i'm just going to add one more stop and i'm going to give some light color here and let me just select this particular option so you can see here you got this particular shape i want to make a cutout shape here by giving some shadow effect if you don't want that one you can just simply use this uh, method also without using any shadow but let me just show you how to give the shadow effect go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size we can increase or decrease later shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to use the gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use two stops only so i'm just going to delete one and type i'm just going to select a uh, radial you can see here radial and center so here i'm just going to select the dark color a black one which is inside and outside i can just select this particular color which is a gray color which we have used and then for this gray color i'm going to select the transparency to 100% as you can see here and this one I'm just going to effects soft adjust increase the size let me just increase this a little bit and just put it here now the problem is uh, this particular shadow is not looking good so I want to hide one part of that one for that let me just go to insert shapes select a rectangle let me just zoom in so that you can understand you can see here I'm just going to draw a rectangle on top of that and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to select white so you can see here we got the cutout shape here and similarly I'm just going to select these two options press ctrl D to duplicate it and then again I'm just going to select this I'm going to put the shadow effect here and this text box or the rectangle I'm just going to make it here so you can see here we have got this cutout shape 
now i'm going to add a slider object where it will move from right to left or left to right and then it will reveal the text for that let me just go to insert shape select the rectangle again draw the rectangle maybe i'm just going to start from the right side depending on your size for example this much i need shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can give any color of your choice you can use it and then make sure that it is properly aligned uh, with the this particular gray bar okay let me just zoom in and then i'm going to give some uh, 3d look to it make sure that this is properly i think let me just move a little bit up i think this is okay all right now go to insert shapes and select the right triangle draw the right triangle here you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and give a darker color which is this one and rotate i can simply say you can see rotate left 90 degrees and increase the size again make it make sure that it is touching the top properly and if you want you can reduce the size press ctrl d add the other side you can see here again rotate i will just say flip horizontal all right again press ctrl d bring it to the bottom again rotate it you can see here i can just select this one flip vertical and just make sure that this is properly aligned press ctrl d go here let me just increase the size a little bit yes and this also i'm just going to rotate it flip horizontal and just put it here all right so you can see here my 3d shape is almost ready and if you want you can give some shadow effect to give the shadow effect let me just go here again i can just use this shadow which i have cop which i did for this Control d to duplicate it and put it here and just go and just say send back sorry go to format and just say send back you can see here let me just move it inside and again press ctrl d i will go to the other side and put it here and this also i'll just say send to back all right so you can see here our design is almost ready i'm just going to select all this the orange color and press ctrl g to group it so that i can move it as one object and let me just add a text here text option one i'll just say zero one sorry let me just move this up center aligned font size a font color i'm going to select white choose the font size of your font uh, Font also you can just change it according to your requirement and make it bold and just put it here and then again I'm just going to select this hold the shift key and this object press ctrl G so you can see here I can just move as one object now let me add the animation to this one before the adding animation i'm just going to insert a text here i will just say add your detail text here right aligned make it white font or it's not visible make it black only if you want you can just change the font to open sans or of your choice any font you can just select and then I'm just going to select this, go to format, bring to front because what happens when it slides, the text will not be visible then. So now 
I'm just going to animations, animation pane. I've selected this option, add animation, go to more motion path. And here you can just select towards the left. Can you see here the left and click OK. So you can see here when I play, it is just moving here. And then I'm just going to select this and I want this slider option to come till this end here. You can see here and double click and remove the smooth start smooth end. I'm going to give a little bit bounce effect timings. You can make it fast. Or I can just make it more fast also. Let me just see if I make it more faster, very fast. So it's up to you whichever you want and then when it is moving towards the left then at that time the text should appear for that i'm going to select the text and i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect i will just say from right you can see here and this one i will say with previous let's see how it looks if it is very fast we can just change that one if i play you can see here All right, if I play now here, you can see when I when it it is sliding, the text is appearing. So it's simple. So now I'm just going to select the second make the second option. I'm just going to select all this press control D to duplicate it and just add it here as a second option. I will just make this as two. And if you want, you can just go and change the color of your choice. For example, this one and change the background color also. Now I'm just moving this one towards the right, sorry, towards the left and then it should move towards the right. But we already have this particular animation. If I play, it is going here and this is going outside of the slide area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this. You can see here, go to animations and I can just make it towards right. You can see here. And then this also I'll select this arrow and move towards this much size here. All right. So now if I play this one, let me just make it instead of right left align and and you can see here this one. It is very again. I have to just remove this one. Make it a smooth. Uh, this one. What is that? Bounce and timings. I'm going to make it very fast all right and click OK so let me just play now when I click the first text when I click the second text again the second text I should change the direction go to the animation it should from left okay so if I play now this is the first and this is the second now if you want to add two more options it's very simple I'll select all this press ctrl D and just bring it here you can see here and if it is not fitting i'm just going to increase the size here that's it now if i play this is one this is two this is three and this is four so simple so you can give the equal spacing and you can give some shadow effect for this one and it's ready to use That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.